All right, boys and girls, we're going to have story time. Story time! If you want to come closer and come sit around me, you're more than welcome to. And this story is going to be in Carol Queen's um, book, Five Minute Erotica. Oh, cool. <laughs> number two. Number two. Five Minute Erotica, number two. And yes, I had a Pirate Cat radio show today. And, um, and it was all dedicated to Paul Rubens Day. Woo! Yeah! And the sponsor for the show is Red Headed Porn. Woo! Yeah! To promote, help promote uh, King Queen's new, brand new episode. And this one's called Charmer. It starts to rain. Large hot drops cling to me, and steam starts rising from the street, and I breathe it in. Lifting my face to the sky, I smooth back my hair where the drops have fallen. It's crowded at the bus stop, and the air is filled with various smells of perspiration and perfume. And just before my white blouse becomes transparent, my bus arrives. And I find a seat in the back on a bench, and there are already three people there, and I squeeze into a bare spot. The woman next to me is also wearing a short skirt, and her thighs are touching. On my right, a man is trying to read a newspaper. Our arms keep touching as the bus bounces along. And then I realize I'm sitting over part of a motor, and a strong vibration tickles my bottom. And I press my sex into the seat for the stimulation. And I begin to think of the emails I received throughout the day. I kept up a conversation with my cyber lover. Each message growing in intensity. And the webcam shots of his heart on fill my mind. And I rub my thighs together, doing my cables, squeezing the muscles of my pussy, heightening my arousal keeping myself turned on all day. And by the, oh, thank you. <laughs> by afternoon, I had to leave my desk, and I found an abandoned office. The chair at the desk reclined, and the windows looked out onto the street. I sat there with my skirt hiked, staring at the people, thinking of my cyber lover. Oh, it was wet, and it didn't take me long to come, when I noticed that there was a man across the street in another building, he was watching me. And he looked at my face and the motion of my arms. Getting up from the chair, I turned my back to the window to bend over and pull at my panties. I didn't look back, though, to watch the movements of his arms. The slow, jerky movements of a bus kept me from wake kept waking me. My body turns even hotter under the lascivious stairs. And I found toward my home, leaping up the stairs to my bedroom, turning on my vibrators. I turn the pages of my address book. I find the phone number of my cyber lover. And I call him, fall into the bed. I squeeze my thighs around my hands and move him furiously. He answers the phone while I'm moaning. And I whisper and growl up my name. And I can hear him unzipping his fly. And all he has to say is, Oh, and here you come. Third time's a charm for me, and I drop the phone from my convulsions and twist to my side, panting and moaning into the phone while it lies on the bed, and my fingers, slippery and scented, pick up the phone, and I rub my pussy with it. And I want him to hear how wet I am, rubbing the plastic across my smooth, shaved sex. And I begin to talk to him again, licking my sex from the phone, and I say, Come on, baby. Come on, baby, I want to hear you come. Come for me. Third time's a charm again. 